What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a really fun video for you guys because as you can see here, I have a super big drone and I'm gonna be borrowing my friend's Inspire 2. And today we're gonna take out on the field and I'm gonna be comparing it with the Mavic 3 and also just my general impressions of the Inspire 2. It's gonna be my second time flying it, so I honestly don't know too much about this drone, but I really, really like the way it works and I think it's really sick. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. So thank you guys for tuning in and let's get it. So we just arrived at the location and I thought that this would be a great place to test out the Inspire 2. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the Inspire 2 because it's a lot different than a regular Mavic. First you have the Sendence controller, the Hybrite Crystal Sky monitor, and next comes the fun part. Here we have the main aircraft itself. Next we have the X7 DJI Zenmuse camera. And then I'm gonna grab the propellers here before I close it up. I'm gonna set the drone right here. Make sure you match up the white with the red and then twist it so the red matches the red. Once you hear that click, that means you're all good to go. Next, I'm gonna install the propellers now. Make sure white matches to white. Make sure they're nice and secure. Red to red, press the buttons and then twist it. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. All right guys, so right now we have the 50 millimeter lens on, but I think later we're gonna switch to a more wider focal length. So what more easily matches the Mavic 3's footage. So yeah, let's see how this looks. One of the first cool things I noticed about the Inspire 2 is that you actually have a lot more control over the camera. As you can see, I can both tilt the camera up and down, but also a full 360 around too, which is super cool. In addition, the Inspire 2 also supports dual operator mode, which is really cool. So yeah, there's a train coming right now. I'm gonna launch right now, let's go.
All right, what's up guys? So right now we're gonna close up this video by talking about the ease of use of the Mavic 3 versus the Inspire 2. So right now we're at a new spot. It's really sick because there's two bridges here actually back to back. So I'm gonna get some super sick shots of the Mavic. So to get to this spot, it was actually kind of a small hike. And of course I could bring the Inspire 2. I would be lugging this huge case around. I might need an extra person, you know, to help me with the case. But honestly, when it comes down to it, I think the Mavic 3 is just perfect for this. You know, practicing my aerial cinematography, getting some really cool shots. I think this is gonna be great because right now is, um, yeah, right now it's about like 5 p.m. So we're approaching golden hour. So yeah, I'm predicting that we're gonna get some really nice shots over here because I've actually never been to this location before to fly. So yeah. I think the Inspire 2 really excels on professional film sets where you really have to dial in a specific look with the lenses or you need to shoot in 6K RAW to match other cinema cameras or you wouldn't get really cool complex shots in dual operator mode. So I think the Inspire 2 still has its place in the professional workplace. However, I think that the system is a little bit outdated, especially the transmission system. When I was flying it, I felt like my transmission was kind of dodgy and it was kind of blurry, it was kind of cutting out sometimes and also I was getting low signal warnings when the drone wasn't even that far away and this is really concerning to me because I'm really used to the Mavic 3 where I have really good transmission even when I'm up to a few miles away so yeah I think there's a huge difference between the OcuSync 3 and then the OcuSync 2 which I believe the Inspire system is using. In addition I think it's really important to talk about the Inspire 2's form factor so honestly it is huge compared to the Mavic 3 and you really need like kind of like a big car. You need maybe another friend to help you, you know, look out for you because like whenever you fly, you're gonna attract a lot of attention because people are more used to seeing like, you know, the smaller drones like the Mini or Mavics, but whenever you pull out Inspire 2, like everyone's gonna be looking at you. You're gonna be attracting a lot of attention. So you really have to keep that in mind about where you live, where you wanna be flying this thing because I feel like in my personal opinion, unless you're on a professional video set where they're paying you a lot of money to be a drone pilot or, you know, you're in a really rural area, I would almost nine times out of 10 choose my Mavic 3 because it is so much easier to set up. You can be up in the air in under a minute. Battery life is great. And also the camera is excellent with that four third sensor. So yeah, I think overall, you really have to think about which pilot you are. And personally for me, I'm like a run and gun pilot and I love to take off wherever. So I think it's really important to have a Mavic for me, but I'm really excited to say that I'm so excited for the Inspire 3 to come out because I think the Inspire 2 is a great drone. I mean, the concept is great. Having a interchangeable camera with a lens mount. And I'm really excited for the Inspire 3 because I predict that they're gonna use the X9 camera, which is the camera they use on the Ronin 4D. So it's gonna be great. I really hope they have internal NDs on the drone now. And I hope that they come out with a new controller, kind of like the RC Pro, but like a, you know, an RC Pro for the Inspire 2. So I think that's gonna be really exciting. And I think that the new transmission system on the Inspire 3 is gonna be a huge selling point because when you have such an expensive drone in there with such a nice camera, you really wanna make sure that your transmission is crystal clear, you have reliable transmission and you have good connection. So I think that's really important. And that's the main reason why I'm so excited for the Inspire 3 because I thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys like that kind of content, drone stuff, cinematic stuff, be sure to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram at Lucy's Visuals. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.